Indiana Jones, Indiana It's a podcast about Indiana Jones. Every movie, one minute at a time. Welcome back to the Indiana Jones Minute. This is the podcast where we're sorry you think we're discussing Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade (laughs) one minute at a time. I'm Pete Lumbert. I'm Tom Taylor. (laughs) I'm Gerald Christopher St. Dalmatius of Pavia Porter. (laughs) (laughs) I'm plain Professor Christy Porter of Dalmatia. I'm plain about you, Christy Porter. (laughs) Oh, thank you, Pete. (laughs) <laughs> Although I picture you wearing like a, a green, a forest green turtleneck and a Dalmatian sweater. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. So, exa- how did you know? <laughs> oh, because I'm here. That's right. You're aptly named. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about minute 58. Minute 58 begins with a monstrously tall Elsa scheming to keep the Jones boys alive. <laughs> and it ends with Elsa sucking suggestively on Indy's lower lip. Is there another way to suck on somebody's lower lip? Other than suggestively? <laughs> good, you know, good good for you, Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that was redundant. I... <laughs> yeah. I, I might not know everything about your life. <laughs> <laughs> so Elsa, at the beginning here, I, it feels like she's scheming to keep these guys alive because Vogel wants to kill him. It sounds like Donovan's completely okay with killing him. And she says, if we fail to recover the pages from Brody, we'll need to keep them alive. And is she actually risking her own life to save theirs? Like, is, is this show that she's actually fond of at least one of the Joneses? I do think she's sort of confl- I mean, it's, she seems more and more conflicted, like, even after this as the movie goes on. But this is also kind of a legit plan, isn't it? I mean, like, they, they might need them alive to... Yeah. Although, I don't know. Would they ever give, like, information? I mean, like, what are they going to do with them exactly? Yeah. Beyond, you know, they have the diary, so they have everything Henry knows. Yeah, maybe they should just go. Well, I, I have a question. <laughs> what, so they're tied up, uh-huh. and they're going to keep them alive. Okay. So what are they doing? Just sitting in the armory room? That's what's weird. Everybody yeah. leaves in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm just, what? what's their... Although Donovan was sitting there reading the diary. Like maybe he was going to ask yeah. questions. Maybe he had questions he was going to ask. I don't know. And Vogel was going to kill him. Yeah. He's cool with that. Right, right. And then you're like, so <laughs> what are they going to do? They just have them tied up. I mean, you know what a pain in the ass it would be to actually get both of the, like that Jones collage. <laughs> they just are roped up together in a chair, like back into their rooms or, yeah. I don't know. Is there like a, uh, you know, uh, what, what was the thing we were talking about where the, the, the oublié where you just oh, drop yeah. people off and oh, forget yeah. about them? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Like, what are they doing with them right now? Yeah, that's a good question. And, and and I'm wondering, does Elsa, if she does want one of the Joneses around, is it out of respect? No. Like, say it's Indy. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no. Is she no, like, she's I all respect about what he does? No. Nope. She's all about control. Yeah. Okay. Nope, she's all about control. And that's why none of this, I think, is about her really being, you know, psyched up about Nazis or psyched up about Jones. or She wants the grail. It's all about Elsa. She's uh, she's not re- so much a double agent as she is just her own agent, a free and agent. Really, yeah, free agent, free range chicken, right like there. Belloc. <laughs> cool. Yes, like Belloc, only not as nice. <laughs> Look, we, we, for, I'm looking at who 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 wants to grail you. Like we got Der Ferber, uh-huh. we got yep. Donovan, yep, we got Elsa, yep, and we got Indy, and we yep. got Indy's dad. Yeah. There's way too many people who think they're entitled to this grail. That's true. Yeah. That's well, that true. brings something up to me. And to paraphrase my very good friends, Tom and Jerry, I have an excellent question here. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I think we might have a tote situation. Who is in charge? Is Vogel or Donovan or Elsa in charge? That's what's weird. We were kind of getting at that yesterday about like Donovan yeah. is like wearing a suit and he's got a... Uh-huh. pledge pin on his uniform and he's given orders and stuff uh-huh. but then Elsa's sort of the expert but then Vogel's in full regalia and he's given I, I, I thought Vogel was in charge I actually don't think he's in charge he's out of the three of them you he's definitely he's not in charge. in charge no he's he's why is he not in charge he's asking for permission to kill him 
Yeah. And Donovan says, Elsa says no, and then Donovan says, we always do what the doctor ordered. Yeah. Which is weird. A weird yeah. Line. yeah. I kind of think... It feels like Donovan's in charge, and like, and like, and, and Elsa is his sort of expert right hand man kind of thing. Yeah, and then Vogel's the Nazi. I, th- I think, yeah, I think Donovan's in charge for now, uh-huh. until if if he actually obtains the Grail. Yeah, <laughs> then I'm sure they're gonna they're gonna put him in one of them Potemkin trucks. Yeah, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, put him in the basket. Right. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I don't know. I there's an Adolf Hitler scene, uh, so I'm told. Coming up, and you're, you're like, does he have any clue that they're searching for the Grail at all? Mm. Be- because, I mean, what's Donovan even doing here? Is he going to double cross the Nazis? It seems like That's it. a good question. I guess. And then is Elsa going to double cross Donovan? That I could believe. Sure. She double cross anybody. Like, is she gonna is she gonna kiss him and suck suggestively on his lower lip? <laughs> now that doesn't make any sense That's at all. That's what she does. <laughs> <laughs> you were gonna say something about what the doctor ordered, Jerry. Now I want to hear what that was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was. I if it's a similar cadence to when he, when when Donovan says that it's similar cadence to uh, you know put it on a bony finger. <laughs> <laughs> always do what the doctor orders. It is like he's like always do what the doctor ordered. <laughs> <laughs> That's disturbing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, he he says it is kind of like it's one of those you know an apple a day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah. He's very like down home, like Saturday <laughs> night. You know, like sitting in front of the fire with the family, right. like hey boy, hey kids. Yeah, everything's always fine with him. He's he's yeah are always going hunky dory for old Donovan. Which is kind of a like a you know a Sinclair Lewis kind of nineteen twenties nineteen thirties Americana like that is kind sure. of a businessman yeah yeah <laughs> and and you know what's nice is the opposite of tote yeah 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 it's, it's true. like you know Don- Donovan you know he sees the glass half full right. he's avuncular yeah yeah everybody's grandpa <laughs> good word <laughs> tote takes the glass and smashes it and tortures it and <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right yeah Donovan puts on his cardigan and changes his shoes and yeah. It's such a good You know it's interesting. Feeling. I noticed that this this <laughs> to know you're alive. Yeah. Do you guys see that red sword wheel? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's hard to miss. Uh, yeah, do you think anything ever like does anybody ever play with that thing? It looks like you can spin it. Like you get to right. choose which way which yes. sword you get killed by. Yeah. yeah. It, it's like I want to spin it. Yeah. yeah. That's how people get hurt. They want to spin it, and they do, <laughs> and then swords happen. Like, I guarantee there's some sort of fun parlor game yeah. that you could play. It's a meat hall parlor game. Who's been spinning the sword wheel? <laughs> I got lower <laughs> lip. I got lower yeah. lip last time. Hey, do you guys want to play spin the swords? You. <laughs> <laughs> First, we got to get some chicks over here. <laughs> I thought that was the weirdest, weirdest set piece ever. It is weird. Yeah. It draws, like of all the things, it draws the eye very much. It's like yeah. always yeah. It's, yep. it's there. It's a, yeah, like you said, it's impossible to miss. And you don't eat chicks here if you got uh, Sala and Marcus. That's right. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going back to Jerry's uh... <laughs> loving a schedule. Yeah. Yes, yes, I'm that's his. true. <laughs> I'm, I'm his. Forever. I'm his. <laughs> yeah. uh, I have something very positive to say about this movie and about oh, this wh- minute. Oh? Yeah, I, I, I feel I feel bad that I've been I'm a little uh, picky and a uh, little, I was a little tough on uh, Sala's scene last minute. Um, but in this minute, uh, Elsa and Allison Duty is incredible. She's mm, awesome yeah. in this moment when she says she shakes the. By the way, they switch. Uh, I just noticed this now. She switches hands between cuts where she's holding the gra- mm. the, the diary, and she's like sort of like mm, holding it into Indy's face. But like when they cut to behind her and you see Indy, it's in the other hand. Mm. Oh. Take oh. that movie. I don't miss a thing. <laughs> uh, but no, but he, she's like I would have done anything to do. I to- love when you're being positive, Tom. See, no, okay. Well, that was yeah. that was the preamble to my positivity. Okay. She okay. Uh, right. she says, uh, you know, I did whatever I had to do to get the Grail, and you would have done the same thing. And he says, I'm sorry, you think so. And her reaction to that, it reminds me of Mark Hamill's greatest moment in Return of the Jedi when. He has to deal with, within the space of like 10 seconds, he has to deal with his face, like not saying anything, the fact that Yoda <laughs> just died, 
He's not the last uh-huh. Skywalker, and Darth Vader is his father. <laughs> you, know, <so laughs> you see it on his face within the space of like five yeah. seconds, huh. and it's incredible. Right here, she goes from like he says, "Oh, I'm sorry, you think so?" And she like until that moment, she had been like very like ha ah, smug, like hi, ah, when I got you. Yeah, but she goes. Yeah. So she goes from like, oh, oh, what? Like she kind of slapped, like so she's been slapped in the face to like, oh shoot, he got me. But then she goes to like, oh wait a minute, I got this. And like she does the she yep. does the cold yeah. coming onto him kissing yeah. him thing, which is just to get back yep. at him for slapping her down like that. And it's kind of really incredible. Yep, it is a good face. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, but I, I, you know, I wonder, like, do we believe that Indy would not have done <laughs> anything to get the Grail? No. Well, he doesn't say. I he doesn't say no. He says, yeah. "I'm sorry you think so." It's <laughs> yeah. not, I'm yeah. sorry if you were offended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. You're on this right. I'm sorry there are two of us like that. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. make it harder to get the grill. Because I'm thinking, yeah. yeah, I'm thinking. You know, here's a guy who almost got his misunderstandings lopped off. Yeah, <laughs> by yeah. the Sultan of Madagascar. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, yeah. am I yeah. believe that there? Are, you know, there are some things he's unwilling to do. He let himself and his girlfriend get captured by Nazis in Malta instead of blowing up the Ark. Yeah. You know, like, I mean, he's... he's yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Sure. But see, I, he doesn't actually say that there's something he wouldn't do. He just says he doesn't right. want her to think that there's something he wouldn't but do. But he gives her such a guilt trip. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. But that's what it's, he does. Yeah. Yeah. It's And it's just like, whoa. You know, and, and, and it makes you so... Am I... I mean, the way it reads, am I supposed to believe here... Do, do the directors want me to believe that, wow, Indiana Jones is in love and this woman has just pierced his heart and ripped it down and torn it out? Yeah. Well, I think there's two. I think there's that and that he also just got bested by this person who is showing herself to be perhaps even more than his equal. Yeah. But it's but it's his only reply is, you know, I'm not nearly as cold hearted as you. Right. See, I just think he's saying, "I'm sorry, you think I'm not, I'm as cold hearted as you," because I mean, we if we want to get you know canonical, if, if you've listened to any of our Patreon episodes, you know that he he actually used the Nazis to hitch a ride to New York City from off the coast of Africa, oh. and he had no problem doing that. <laughs> That's a good point. Huh. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think he would do just like her. He would do anything that he had to to get what he wants. He just doesn't want her to think so. He's like the he's like the jerk that wants everyone to think he's a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, but that's what's crazy. They, I mean, the directors don't really draw the scene that way. No, you're right. Yeah, they don't. yeah, they, they they draw the scene like he's in love. He's the nice guy that he wants everybody to think he's a jerk. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> I have to think about that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys know how the you know whenever you get your dog or cat neutered. Uh-huh. And you know, life just gets easier for everybody. Well, I took a left turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how you ever you ever see Matthew Broderick? You just want to neuter him. Yeah. No, I'm just. What? You know, no. When Talk you know, shame. it's like when you're neutered. There's just you know, <laughs> there's just like food and sleep and a Kong toy, and that's it. And so I wondered, I wondered this in this scene: Would Indy be a better archaeologist if he was neutered? <laughs> oh my word there just wouldn't be any of this stuff i i didn't know we were gonna land there There just there wouldn't <laughs> wow, be any okay. of this stuff at all getting in the way all the time and that because you know i mean he falls for elsa and he trusts her and he lets her in and he shows her the grail and and you know even when she comes on to him here mm-hmm. i don't even know he's not like you disgust me you know, he's still, <laughs> yeah, p- pew, pew. He's not doing yeah. that. He, he, he's, he kind of is. I don't know what he is. No, he's kind of like, I think his mind is just blown. He's like, I, I yeah. don't know. I can't, I'm not stopping this woman from kissing me, even though she just <laughs> totally betrayed me in every way, bested me in everything. Well, he's tied up in a chair. Well, they, they don't actually show us that, though. They, they, I, I don't know if it's deliberate, but they don't actually show us real clearly what his reaction is. Yeah, that's true. He's mostly freaked we, well, out. We only see it from Henry's talking. To, yeah. Well, I've got another excellent question. Yeah, I love excellent questions. <laughs> <laughs> is it possible that we're uh, like we brought a sword to a gunfight, and she's actually in love with Henry? 
And what she's doing Ooh. here is she's trying to make Henry jealous. Oh, Because wow. when you watch oh her word. face, is it possible she's like suddenly realizes, hey, I can turn this against Henry, like against Indy, and I'm going to jab him, but I'm also going to make Henry jealous and show him what he's losing. Pete, you're a lot more twisted than I gave you. No, but you know what? That makes a ton of sense <laughs> because I keep wondering, watching the scene, I keep wondering like, okay, she's got this, you know, she she had at least the same affair with both Joneses, but she's only concentrating mm-hmm. on Indy mm-hmm. here. So that actually kind of makes sense that like, yeah. you know, the only reason she wouldn't be paying any attention to Henry right now is if she's like, you know, yeah, like trying to get at him. Yeah. That, that is very consistent with, yeah. with, with girls. the uh, jerk Sorry. that she is. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> and the music, no. the music, the music is absolutely gorgeous. Mm-hmm. And it is straight, again, kind of like the Willie and Indy love theme is straight out of a 1940s film noir yeah. where the femme fatale would be scheming exactly like yeah. this. And she would say something like, don't be mad at me like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. I'm, you know, I'm with you, Tommy. This entire, <laughs> the the treatment of the scene and the lighting and the colors, the color palette, as you said, Pete, it, it looks like a Disney cartoon <laughs> or something. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Am I crazy? No. And I don't get what that is. Yeah. it's, it's Yeah. I don't get what well, it is. Well, Walt it's, Disney it's, did get his, his look from Castle Neuschwanstein in Bavaria. So it's possible yeah. they Doing an Maybe. homage to Disney, who was doing an homage to Bavaria. There's something about the lighting, and and what's the line she says here? Oh, don't be mad at me, right? Yeah. Uh, don't be mad at yeah. There's something about it. it's very like as you said, 1940s. Uh, but but there's something about it that it. I'm looking at her as if she's Snow White or something. <laughs> right. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's it's sweeping music, and she's kind of uh-huh. slow, and she kind of is her voice. Yeah. Like there's a there's a lilt in her voice mm-hmm. that sounds like that. I don't know if somebody directed that. Like sound like uh, an evil Snow White here. Yeah. Eh, she was a Nazi. <laughs> or to or sound something. like a femme fatale <laughs> in a castle who's yeah. been found out, and yeah. it could be any movie literally ever. Yeah. Yeah. In a good way. It's nice. I think it's good. I think it's great. What would it have looked like if uh, she had kissed uh, Henry instead? Gross. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, I know we're all uncomfortable yeah. with our, our elders being sexual, Tom. I, I understand <laughs> that. You know, it's a thing. We are. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just leave that there. Speaking then. of somebody's <laughs> elder, yes. <laughs> but if Judy were not in this and there he were he were just Henry, we would love it. If she were kissing him, um, like it's the fact that it's his dad. Would we? Maybe not. <laughs> would but, we really? But I mean, he plays often with much younger women, and everybody seems yeah. like, "Oh, this is great." It's Sean Connery. With I know, the but they women. put him in a bucket hat. <laughs> a bucket hat. <laughs> yeah, bow tie, I mean, what are we trying yeah. to do? Yeah. Right here? That's yeah. not the same thing as James Bond at all. James you know? Bond does not wear a bucket hat. That's true. Honestly. Well, so when Elsa says, "I can't forget how wonderful it was," is is she trying to make Indy feel? better it's like i know you're gonna die eventually but <laughs> i think it's sort of like i 100 percent played you and uh yeah i played yeah. you like a yeah. fiddle yeah she's jerking him around yeah that okay all right so does that mean that the lip suck is is the call back to the ear suck it's, it feels that way yeah yeah i listen see i'm not convinced which i don't i don't know where they're going with this I don't know where they're going. I get Disney sweeping strings and, you know, that li- that suggestive lip suck. It's a lip pull, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and and she says, I can't forget how wonderful it was. And I'm like, is that for me, the audience, to just, you know, know that Indy is like super bomb in bed? <laughs> like so much so that in this difficult moment and it's super awkward and all this stuff that she's he's so sexy and so amazing at everything no, that no, she's no, no, still no. going to call it out? No, okay. no, no. All right. No, she's all only right, doing this because okay. he got to her. He got okay, to her a okay. second ago and now she's okay. like, no, you know what? I got you. I got you. We had a okay. beautiful night of whatever and that was all me. And that was okay. It, or I do like your 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 idea here, Pete, though. She's doing it to... to uh, you know, to get back at, or to do something with Indy's dad. I don't know. Make him jealous. But she doesn't even look at Indy's dad. She doesn't even look at him. I know, but that... But I think that's part of the that's part of the, the part of the trick. Yeah. And part of the trick is he does think that she's saying it to him. So she yeah. either did it almost, it doesn't look that way, but according to to Henry, she did it close enough. And he, he's sitting there clearly like, well, clearly she's talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. 
<laughs> Which I'm going to say something. He looks no more than irritated though when he when he sees that uh, she's kissing his son. She, he he's kind of like, oh poof, you know. He's he's not really mad or jealous or anything. Maybe this has yeah, happened before. Or vomiting. Yeah. <laughs> or vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm just going to, I'm going to pull a Tommy here and, and say, I, I'm going to say something positive about this movie here. Weird. You know, uh, yes. Hey. Hey, uh, this so, just did. B- this <laughs> just <laughs> Because I'm, furious all the time at these James Bond, you know, Indiana Jones is not James Bond and they keep shoehorning him in and trying to make him James Bond and all this nonsense and Temple of Doom in the beginning. I hated it. I hated it. So here's a James Bond scene that I can get behind. Hmm. By all accounts, this sh- this should not work and it should be ridiculous and disgusting. We should all be puking. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny and it's only funny because, you know, in this Tre- tremendously awkward scene that is a james bond response you have sean yeah. connor going well it was sort of wonderful wasn't it <laughs> and you're you're getting it actually from james bond mm-hmm. that's fun. Yeah. and it is that fun is and it's fun. great and i love it and sean connery's amazing and the way he says it it's like that's hysterical yeah yeah he so this this is the in, in the entire trilogy all of it this is the only James Bond scene I'm cool with at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got James Bond in it. It's got Sean Connery, and he says a James Bond line. You're talking about sex with the femme fatale, the bad girl, the bad woman, mm-hmm. yeah. whatever. All the James Bond regular stuff. The super sexy yeah. woman who bested you, but you had sex with her anyway, and you say. Yeah, it was kind of wonderful, wasn't it? Right before you're about to die. <laughs> that's James Bond. That's pretty. That's a that's a good Bond moment right there. Yeah. Yeah, even if he is wearing a bucket hat. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Well, I, I I think I got to call this now that uh, Jerry's been positive. I've, I've, I'm yeah, worried let's, about letting let's this go on. Too long. <laughs> yeah. I, nobody's got anything else. I'm assuming Christie's here. Uh, mm, no. Mm. So okay. Um, I did, you know, I I did have one question here. Um, oh, actually, it's just my it's just my older sister ringing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's something coming in. <laughs> oh, They're coming through okay. the wires. Oh, uh, whoa! All right. <laughs> this just in from the smartest Billy Goat Gruff, who builds her pigs out of bricks. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi Porter Esquire. Um, ooh, okay. Indy's ears may belong to his mom, but Elsa pulls at Indy's bottom lip like it belongs to her. How is that super sensual, prolonged, lower lip sucking goodbye kiss supposed to make me feel? Hmm. Me like yeah. the audience? Me the viewer? Me like the audience? And I'm also going to throw in Indy too. I think it I think it makes the audience and Indy should feel that she is in 100% control and she's just doing little tap dances on Indy's heart and uh yeah she's, she's got a him. jerk and she's a jerk. Yeah. She's playing him, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, hey, I I guess what I'm going at right here is right now, right there. Does Indy have a boner? Probably. Yuck. Yeah. No. <laughs> No, <laughs> obviously, no. There are entirely too many sisters in this to be, to be saying stuff like yeah. that, Jerry. What kind of household is it over there at the Porter's? <laughs> mm. See, peak, peak in time, get it. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. There's some things you don't put in the duck's mouth. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, well, I would like to take this opportunity to please remind all of you please have your duck spayed or neutered. And then immediately <laughs> come back and join all of us tomorrow for minute 59 of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade here on the Indiana Jones Minute. Yuck. <laughs> I hate the kissy parts. <laughs>